Oi! Today's video is about a topic I have been thinking about for a very long time and then suddenly I thought I should probably make a video about this. But before we do that, I just want to show you the Easter egg that my boyfriend got me that is in the shape of a dinosaur and it will very soon be extinct. I'm just gonna make sure that Dylan behind me here won't be seeing any of that. Okay, so the thing I want to talk about today is the choice when you're starting a YouTube channel to make videos either in English or your native language. I'm just gonna take everyone that speaks English as their native language out of this equation because this is not really a discussion that they have to think about so much, but you might still be interested in hearing a bit more about it. So for those of you who don't know, here is a little bit about the background of my YouTube channel. I was born in the Netherlands. I lived there until three and a half years ago Dutch is my native language. I studied English as a foreign language both in high school and then at university and I started my YouTube channel in my very first year of my degree. At that point I would say my English was fairly good. I don't think my accent was quite there but I was pretty much on my way to being fluent and I was doing almost all of my reading in English. Obviously all my reading for university would be in English and because I started in 2008 there weren't that many Dutch YouTubers yet and everyone that I was watching was English and that was the community I really wanted to be part of. Even book YouTube wasn't a thing yet, but I just wanted to be part of the sort of wider, mostly American YouTube community. And so naturally I started making videos in English. I didn't even think about it that much, it just seemed like the natural thing to do. I asked you on Twitter for your opinion on this topic and you'll be featured in this video. And I'm going to start out with Nat, who sort of made the, the big point that I want to talk about, which is the choice between two things. And she says, you want the universal reach but you also want your native connection. I'm gonna sort of talk about both sides of it. I'm gonna start off with pros and cons of doing your channel in English if it is in your first language. The most obvious thing is that obviously you'll have a really big reach. So many people speak English as their first language and then I feel like a lot more probably, I don't know, speak English as their second language. So your audience is huge. It means you have a chance to have a way bigger subscriber base and also more opportunities to work with different companies and other cool things. And you get to be part of a way bigger community of of English speaking YouTubers. There were two responses from you guys that I really liked. One of them was Leah and she said, I'm German and I make videos in English. Booktube was almost non-existent in the German community when I started and I also wanted to engage with people. And then Guilia says, I'm Italian, I make videos in English because I read in English and I don't even think there is an Italian booktube community. Which, I don't know if it's true, but if there is one, it's probably quite small. Some other reasons why people might want to speak English on the channel, it is quite cool. Like in the Netherlands, I feel like English is seen as cool. It's used in ads a lot. People will just use random phrases and it will also really help you improve your English. The fact that you're going through all the footage of you speaking a different language means that you'll automatically pick up on things you're doing wrong and you'll improve and I feel like for me even just having to sit down and talking to a camera in a different language was so so beneficial for me and obviously this also works if you already speak English public speaking wise it's really good but if you're still perfecting your language skills then this is such a good way of doing it and then of course there's also the reason that some people just talk about a topic that is somehow related to English and works better in that language Annette says I'm from Finland but I make videos in English too I think it comes more natural since I mostly read in English which was obviously the case for me as well and then finally there's Sophia who says I did mine her channel in English, even though my first language is Portuguese, since I'm living in the UK and the audience reach is bigger. Now we're gonna go to the other side and talk about some of the pros of speaking in your native language on your YouTube channel, and some of these are automatically the cons of speaking English. To be honest, you're probably gonna be slightly more comfortable speaking in your native language. Alicia says that she switched to Spanish recently and her channel has grown a lot more and she feels more confident. And then there's Papelbina and she says, I don't feel comfortable enough with my English to try to speak in English in front of the camera about books. It is quite a big step, I think, if you haven't spoken a lot of English yet, then this could be quite a big barrier, and to be honest, it can be tricky enough to get started on YouTube to begin with. And obviously, if you speak in your native language, there is also a way better opportunity to connect with the YouTube community within your country, however big or small it may be. And if it is small, you can even be part of building it. There was a comment from someone who said, I think the communities for native languages tend to be more personal and closer as they are often smaller. With this comes also the opportunity to work with brands specifically in your country. Whereas the smaller number of YouTubers, the more chance there is you get to work with with a company or a brand, but at the same time, the brands in that country might not 
quite be ready yet or aware to work with YouTubers. And then finally, a sort of con of obviously speaking your native language in videos is that there is a smaller audience available. The Netherlands has 18 million people. There's not a lot of people outside of the Netherlands that speak Dutch. But at the same time, it also makes it easier to be at the top of your niche. I think there's quite a big Spanish-speaking booktube community and I know that the Dutch one has been growing in the last year. And then of course there's also other options that include switching languages and using subtitles. And I know that Fran does like half English and half her native language and I think she subtitles both to cater towards both audiences. Those are some of the points that are part of this discussion. I've definitely in the past seen some YouTubers go from starting out in English to going back to their native language because they just see that it isn't quite working for them. I think maybe if I wasn't reading so many English books and if I wasn't studying English, I might have stuck with Dutch. There are a lot of Dutch YouTubers that I watch and absolutely love. But obviously, I have now also moved to the UK. Um, so in the end, it was sort of the best decision. It will always be a tricky decision to make, but of course, I would love to hear in the comments what your experiences are with this and how you feel about it. And if you have any favorite YouTubers in your native languages who potentially also provide English subtitles, I would love to hear about them. So please do leave those in the comments and I will talk to you guys later. Doei!